All right, we ready? My grandmother gave me a copy of This Hall Woman when I went to college. Um, and then I reread it for this project and it really resonated with me on a lot of levels. It's a beautiful novel and what's been so fascinating is to delve into the letters and, you know, just, I don't know, it's really magical, the le all the letters that she sent talking to people about the potential for the book, the people who wrote back to her and said, I think it's a great idea, and people were like, well, who cares? You know, and she, she, all the rejection letters are there and all the encouragement letters are there and that's been just really amazing to sort of see that process happen. Born under the sign of the whippoorwill He roamed this country about as far So for me it's been a process of sort of like sifting through and like shaking it around and seeing which ones sort of fall out and make the most sense to me to sort of string together. So much time on trains. I'm basing the tune that I'm writing um, on the book that you wrote called Seeds of Southern Change, which is about Dr. Will Alexander, who was a Methodist minister who um, sort of removed himself from the pulpit specifically to, to be present for um, fighting against injustice. If there's, if there's anything that's obvious in the archive is that she was hustling. Yes. Every single day she was writing letters, pitching, she was uh, researching new stories, um, and her partnership with James Stokely, I, I think that that's, that's like very clear. If there's anything that shows up, it's that, that every single day they were doing something. The key piece for this for me has just been a bit of a leap of faith. You just sort of dive in and see what strikes you. And the Will Alexander story really resonated with me. I think that that was um, a big part of Wilma's and James, their role, their, their idea was that they were going to focus and hustle on today, knowing that maybe the seeds of change would be in the future. 